channel so today's video is from Jama bay it's a whoopee god by grace shaming jason and Dean's latest song try that in a small town okay let's check it out guys you gone too far and i've been trying to say this this is not about race it's about people getting right. together acting right acting like you got some common sense there's a lot wrong here with this. This is a man who saw what happens when someone is out of control right. with their guns. Yeah. He's he someone who was, he was, he was out in, in Vegas. He says, well, try that in a small town. See how far you make it down the road. Round here, we take care of our own. You won't believe what's happening with his song, Try That in a Small Town, and the drama surrounding it. You know, something that was just sort of crapping out, you know, and I didn't really know what it was. And so it took me a while to, to realize and even... Word has it that Whoopi Goldberg is regretting ever passing any comments on Jason Aldean's new song because apparently Jason might be coming for him after all. The video of Whoopi and her crew reacting to Jason Aldean's song is causing quite a frenzy among fans. According to some fans online, it's undoubtedly defamation material. Fans are going crazy with their comments. They're saying they don't have any legal training or expertise, but the way Whoopi and her crew were bashing Aldean, that is pure defamation and Jason should do something about it. The View and Whoopi honestly should have seen this coming long ago because they've got a reputation for defaming people left and right without any solid grounds. A lot of people are calling out The View for their constant defamation. The song, I was like, you know, let's try to get him out on the tour with us. And, and that's, it's been... Uh... They think The View should finally get what it deserves for all those years of defaming people without a reason in the name of giving their opinions and reactions. And with the latest victim being Jason Aldean, his supporters are not ready to back down. ABC tried to play it cool, claiming they had no clue their host could get so brutal. But unfortunately for ABC, Jason's fans aren't buying it. They're firing back, saying that free speech isn't a shield for screaming fire in a crowded theater, and Whoopi needs to pay for her little stunt. Sounds like Whoopi's in a lot of trouble. But wait, there's more tea to spill. Whoopi herself isn't phased by this frenzy. She's got her own gossip to dish out. She's chatting with her gal pals, Cynthia Lou Who and Jesus Lou Who, talking about another lawsuit she heard about from the Dunning-Kruger Times. And let's not forget the shade being thrown around like confetti. Sonny Hostin, Joy Bihar, and the gang are getting called out for their behavior, being labeled as downright un-American. There's also some recent chatter about stereotypes in the fan circles. Jesus Lou, who himself joined the conversation, sharing his thoughts with Whoopi. Whoopi just can't seem to catch a break. She's caught in a whirlwind of controversy, and it's not just about Jason Aldean's song, Try That in a Small Town. It's a whole hot mess of drama they've been brewing over at The View for several years now, and fans are calling them out finally. They take pictures, and then people say, hey, what is that? Or you take a picture of Nelly. People are saying Whoopi and the gang have been getting away with some serious defaming and straight up lies about folks they just don't fancy. You won't believe the things they've been saying without a care in the world. However, despite all the shade they've thrown, they've managed to dodge major lawsuits so far. It's like they're living in a gossip bubble, untouchable and unscathed. And that's exactly what has fans in such a frenzy. How can they make such defamatory remarks and not suffer even one bit of consequence? Now let's get to the juicy part. Whoopi's take on Jason Aldean and his song. Whoopi seems to be living in a parallel universe, claiming she knows all about the song's video and lyrics, but fans are saying that she's got it all wrong. It's like she never even heard the song or watched the music video, and that is seriously pissing Aldean's fans off. So what happened is that Whoopi's got this wild take on the whole try that in a small town situation. She's all like, hey peeps, it's about life in a small town, you know? And those images in the video, yeah, they're from the Black Lives Matter movement. Who would have thunk it? But wait, it gets juicier. I respect everything everyone is saying to me, and I, I you know, I don't want to fake apologize. Whoopi's convinced that the folks in the song are just looking out for each other, taking care of their town, you know, like a family. Whoopi isn't holding back when she talks about those rioters. She's defending them, saying they're just standing in solidarity with each other, burning buildings, wrecking cars, and causing chaos. But that's not all. Whoopi's stirring the pot, wondering why everyone's making this about race. She's like, hey, it's about Americans taking care of each other. Big towns, small towns, all the same. And that is what has pissed the fans off the most because the way Whoopi has talked about the song, it's like she hasn't heard or seen it. If she was going to comment on it, she could at least make sure she knows what it's about. And if that wasn't enough, Whoopi showed The View went on a full-blown rampage, trashing poor Jason Aldean left and right. They called him racist, 
dissed his hometown and labeled the song racist too. I should have thought about it a little longer before I said it, but I didn't. And I should have said cheated. And I used another word, and I'm really, really sorry. After facing some serious backlash, the powers that be have decided to do some major damage control. They went and chopped out sections of the video to erase any trace of that controversial Black Lives Matter demonstration. But that's not all. All Dean's record label couldn't resist adding some fuel to the fire. In their vague statement, they mentioned that the video was edited because of some mysterious third-party copyright clearance issue. It's clear they're trying to hush things up, but in the age of social media, nothing stays hidden for long. So far, Aldine hasn't passed any comments or taken any actions, but it is clear that his silence means he is standing strong by his song. However, a source recently claimed that Jason indeed takes some action and was severely pissed. According to the so-called reliable source, the Dunning-Kruger Times, Jason was supposedly all fired up and ready to sue Whoopi Goldberg, Sonny Hostin, and Joy Behar for calling him a racist on their show. The alleged lawsuit was a whopping $40 million, and Aldean reportedly took advice of counsel before making this bold move. But hold up, here's the twist. It's all a bunch of baloney. Yep, you heard that right. The Dunning-Kruger Times is a notorious parody site known for its wild and fictional stories. They've got it plastered all over their website that their content is pure fantasy and not to be taken seriously. Apparently, The View's hosts are safe and sound from any real legal trouble because, well, Aldean's not actually suing them. The whole thing about First Amendment free speech and Whoopi shouting fire in a crowded theater, just figments of someone's wild imagination. And let's not overlook the fact that the article mentioned a court that doesn't even exist, the 65th District Court of Writs and Motions. So clearly, for now, Whoopi and her crew are safe from lawsuits, but it remains yet to be seen if Jason will give a statement to address this issue. What's your take on the Jason Aldean versus Whoopi Goldberg showdown? Do you think Aldean will take some action? Or do you believe The View's comments were fair game? Let us know in the comments. That's it for today, guys. Don't forget to like. Well, guys, let's face it. Do you guys think she's, she regrets what she's done? Like we also saw that video, like it has refused to leave my head. Like the way they kept going at him, like so relentless. Like, you would think that he has annoyed them in, a, in the world, in, in the other life he came or something. Cause I was not understanding that whole whole drama that they did in that show. Guys, that guys went too far. Well, do you guys think they she actually regrets it? But let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. And take care of yourself. Bye, guys.